Speaking of racy movies, I watched a pre-code film um, starring Irene Dunn, one of my favorite actresses, and Walter Houston, an unsung hottie of the 1930s. Um, maybe a silver fox. I can never tell if his hair is actually silver or not in these black and white movies, but he's he's got something. So this one is called Ann Vickers, and it's based on a novel by Sinclair Lewis, and it was written by Jane Murphan, who did uh, a ton of great films in the 30s, especially films for women, including The Women, among many others. Um, it's directed by John Cromwell, uh, one of the great directors from this era, and it, it got butchered a little bit, even though this is pre-code, this is late era pre-code, and it still got butchered a little bit. In this, the original story, she is a um, birth control advocate who has an extramarital affair and this causes some issues. In the film version, we get it slightly changed and she is a prison reformer who at first has a tour affair with a man who's going off to World War I. She, he wants to marry her. She's smarter than that and says, you know, go to the war, come back. You still want to marry me. I'll marry you. However, she gets pregnant and he comes back earlier than he was supposed to come back because he never actually went because he's trash because men are trash and um, she realizes that she was right her instincts and is able to completely forget him and then her friend played by the one and only Edna Mae Oliver takes her she's a doctor she takes her to Havana and the next thing you know the baby has died this is very much an abortion they weren't really able to say it but they were able to indicate it and um, this is how you know, like, you're in the pre-code, but you're in, like, late pre-code where they were just barely getting these things into these movies. So then she becomes a prison reformer, writes a book, falls in love with a judge who is married, but only in name only. He is trying to get a divorce, can't get a divorce, stuck in one of those marriages. He's not exactly a great guy because she has terrible taste in men. Um, but she wants her career, and she wants, you know... Her relationship and she goes for both of them and ends up what pregnant again only this time she's going to keep the baby but then life finds a way to like throw a wrench in it and it could have been a really great film if it had kept that wrench and just had her go off on her own raising this baby um but instead it ends up with one of those tacked on hollywood endings where she renounces her career and he renounces his bad ways and they're gonna go be a, a cookie cutter happy family with her at home raising the baby and you wish the movie stayed true to the story the, the tagline is more startling than the book but as you can tell it's not more startling than the book it's more um you know chattel than the book it's it's they've they stripped bits of of what was you know what Sinclair Lewis was trying to say and Sinclair Lewis is one of these great sort of um what do you want to call him? Mm, not problem. He, he wrote about social. He wrote about social issues. And he tackled social issues in all of his books. And um, mostly, or quite often, with women. But mm, some of his books are also mostly about men. Well, his split. What, what am I saying? They're split. But he was equally good, I think, at, at delving into women's issues as well as men's issues. Um... And there's just some great dialogue, especially between uh, Dunn and her friend, played by um, Edna May Oliver, where they're just basically bringing them in her trash. And um, I really enjoyed it. And Irene Dunn is so good in this movie. Um, it's just one of those, reminded me kind of of Christopher Strong at the end, where the ending is just, like, really hampers and brings down how strong the rest of the movie was. Um, Christopher Strong's a mess, actually, altogether. So this is Ann Vickers. It's from 1933. It's directed by John Cromwell. stars Irene Dunn. You can get it on Warner Archive, um, and it's streaming right now on, on a Filmstruck, and it might be rentable. No, I think you have to get the disc if you want to not watch it on Filmstruck, but it is on disc from Warner Archive Collection, so check it out, especially if you like um, sort of modern woman pre-codes. Um, this is Ann Vickers from 19... 33.